sorry if the lighting looks weird. I'm trying something different. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I guess we'll find out once I upload or edit. But yeah, also new filming position, trying it out again. Not permanent, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, today I'm going to be doing my May favorites. I've never done one of these videos, or I don't think I've uploaded one. I filmed these multiple times, but I've never uploaded one. I think I did some last summer, never uploaded them, I don't know. But I'm gonna finally upload one, so we're gonna do May, because I have a few things that I tried out this month that I really, really like, and I wanna share them with you guys. So yeah, let's just get started. First thing is these Crayola Super Tips. I bought these at the dollar store for $4, but I think those are like 24, I don't know. I can't count, but <laughs> there's a lot of colors and I use these in my coloring books and my bullet journal and my notes and I like to do Crayola calligraphy with them. Yeah, you can look up my study gram and see my study gram because I use them in my bullet journal and notes like I just said and you can see them in my posts on Little Bird Studies 5. <laughs> I've been saying that wrong every time I've been filming. Okay, good to know. So yeah, if you follow me on my little account, you can see that I've used them. So if you want to do that, that'd be nice. The last little stationary item is some pens that I saw on Study Quill, Jasmine. She, I think she did a video with jet pens, and I think just in general, this is one of her favorite like pens or like the ink. And it's the Pentel Energel Liquid Gel Ink, and I have the 0.3 tip because I like a nice thin pen. And it is supposed to be really fast when it dries, and it is, and I love it so much. I use these in my A push notes, like before the test and I was writing really fast and I was able to highlight right away and it wouldn't smudge or anything so would recommend. So next this is like a three in one but it's really because of the scent and from Bath and Body Works I really like the watermelon lemonade. I actually think I have it in a perfume too from last time. I don't possibly I don't know about that but I have the pocket bag, the lotion and candle and it smells so good I love it so much it smells like summer oh, it's so, good. so I burn that and it makes my room smell amazing and then I keep these in my purse and I also really like these lotions in general but one I picked up that I love a lot is this aromatherapy one and it's happiness and it's a hand cream and it's I'm not even gonna try to pronounce what it says. I hope you can see. <laughs> Look at me being a beauty guru. I don't know if you can see the little two ingredients, but <sighs> let me focus. It smells really good, and I love just putting it on in the evenings and just smelling it because it does put me in a better mood. I mean, it probably just, I don't know. It smells really nice. So I barely started reading a certain book series that everyone's read by like age 10 or 11. I barely read it as a 16 year old and I'm like a senior in high school now and I'm not even finished with it. But I actually love it so much and that's the Harry Potter series right now as you can see I'm- Oh the bookmark's not in there. Oh shit, what page was that? Oh, I think I just started chapter 13. Anyways, I'm reading Half-Blood Prince right now and then there's Deathly Hollows right there in Order of the Phoenix but- <sighs> Started reading this and I love it so much to add on the Harry Potter thing is another item that I recently got this month and I love it so much because I had one of these but it wasn't this brand and it wasn't this theme but it broke after like a week and so I got this one and it's lasted me I've had this kind before and it's lasted me a long time and real quick I'm not happy with how much it costed it was like $15 but it's really nice to have and I really like to just play with it and I think it's cute and that is a pop socket Yay. And it's the actual Pop Socket brand, so it was $15, and it was Harry Potter themed, so of course $15. But mine is a Gryffindor Pop Socket. I was really excited when I found it because they had like a whole thing of just Ravenclaw, and then they had like the Hogwarts crest, and I was like, maybe they have Gryffindor? I don't, I don't know. Went through all the Ravenclaws, none. Then I went and like I kind of looked, and I saw like a Hufflepuff. Slytherin, and then I found a Gryffindor at the very back, and it was great. Next is this 
facial scrub wash thing and it's the Shea Moisture African Black Soap with tamarind, tamarind extract and tea tree oil. So a lot of these ingredients in it are really good on their own but together it's just so nice and it leaves my skin looking amazing and feeling amazing and you only use it like one to two times a week, I think that's what it says. Yeah, pretty sure. Once or twice weekly. I use it twice, <laughs> but it's really good. I can't remember how much it costs. I think I got it at Walmart, and I have a lot of it left. I'm so glad I got this. It's made it's made my skin a lot better already because it was really bad. I was breaking out a lot towards the end of school, so would recommend. And lastly, <sighs> I'm so excited about these. A lot of people don't like these shoes and I don't know why. I think they're so cute. I have two pairs <laughs> and they're like Birkenstock sandals type of things. Not Birkenstocks, you know, but that style. I think these are so cute and summery and they're so easy to put on. And I really like this brown. I think it matches my purse. I don't know where my purse went, but I'm pretty sure that matches my purse too. So. <laughs> I love these so much. I think they're really cute and I wear them 24-7 and I'm gonna continue to wear them 24-7 in the summer. So yeah, I think I got these pair, these pair, this pair at Target. So yeah, those are all my things that I've loved in May. So I really hope you enjoyed this video or found something that you want to try or buy. I don't know. I might link everything or at least list everything down below just in case you want to look it up or something. But yeah, thanks for watching again. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter and if you want Snapchat. And make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna try to upload more videos in the summer and we can see how that goes. That is it, I'll see you in my next video.